how to set up PayPal business account. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a PayPal business account so you can create um, a payment system in your PayPal. So the difference between personal and business plan of PayPal is the business account. In the business account, you can have, I think, more in-depth analytics and you can also create um, a stream like an automation so for example you you can receive this much this amount of uh, money from one of your online store and you can create payouts based off of that for example if you're a dropshipper or you have a vendor to pay every month i think setting up a paypal business account is instrumental for the operation of your uh, business so in the paypal website the first step is to click sign up now, I already have a PayPal business account, but in this video, I'm going to set up a new one, for example. Now, the business account, for the business account, we can send and receive payments under a business name. That's one of those, that's one of the perks. And we have 24 seven online fraud monitoring and we have no setup monthly or hidden fees. So that's always good. So let's click next and let's just set up a few things here my first name last name email address and password i'm going to fill this in now these are uh, sensitive informations but um uh, i'll see you in a few seconds once i've typed it in so let's uh i'll see you in a few seconds all right so i filled in the informations before which is my complete name and my email now um the other thing that you need to do is to check the i agree with the terms and agreements from the previous page but for this page let's click email your code to confirm our ownership of the email so let's click email our code and i'm going to go to my gmail let's click new tab and i'm going to go to my gmail.com and in my email i should see a an email from paypal telling me the code that i need to type in in this page and i'm going to do that now see you in a few seconds all right i'm done now um i found that the um code is on the update tab on gmail so be sure to find the email on the updates tab on google mail so let's click submit now I've entered my code and let's wait for PayPal to set up a few things before we are going to be prompted to the next step. And the next step being to activate my account to start using PayPal. So let's go. I So there you go. You can uh, describe yourself. So in this side, um, on this case, I am an individual and my business is in it. And as an individual business, if you have sole proprietorship, uh, that's also uh, an option. But if you are a business, which means you're a registered company, you need to fill in the business here. And this has something to do with the fraud protection, I think, also, and the services that you will be offered uh, with. But if i'm not mistaken if you choose the business uh option over here which you have to if it fits your requirement then you will need to add enter information of your business so let's click next for example now i'm an individual and i am i sell individually so i'm going to fill in this page over here so let's let's uh i'll see you in a few seconds once i've filled in all of the informations Okay, once we've filled in the um, informations on the previous page and we click next, we will be prompted to this page with, which is um, the informations about our business instead of ourselves. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use my business name as ASIC Cars. Now, if you, I don't have my regist business registration number yet, so let's uh, empty it for now. I am, I will be selling and buying with US dollars. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, change this to check Karuna, for example. What do you sell or what service do you offer? My offer is automotive. My, I am, I am an automotive parts and accessories store. 
do I have a business website? Yes, I do have a web business website, which is Shopify, but uh, I'm not ready to add a business website to my uh, PayPal business account. So I'm just going to opt as no, I can always add it later on. But if you do have a website, it is a good time to add uh, it over here. Now the business address is I'm going to use my residential address. I'm going to uh, check it and I'm going to click next. Um, so see you in a few seconds. All right, there you go. I need to complete the customer identification process to avoid PayPal account service interruptions. Now a country, I'm going to choose my country. So let's click next and we should be done. There you go. Okay, now we have our business account set up. I believe it, I think we will be shown. Um, there you go. Uh, all right. Then, okay, so we have one more step is to be uh, receiving a call. So I'll see you in a few seconds again, I guess, uh, when I will click my the button call you to confirm and I'm going to uh, receive the call from PayPal if everything goes well. See you. Okay, so what happened in the call is it's just a prompt, but uh, you will be shown in this website page uh, the code that you need to to type in in your keypad of your phone when you are in the call. Uh, it's uh, a call from PayPal US. Now you just need to type in the uh, code that is shown in the page over here in your keypad while you're in the call. That's how you uh, receive the call. Now the call will r arrive in a few seconds. I I think I. I waited for 10 seconds there, so it's not instantaneous. So just wait, be patient. And there you go. Now we're all set for our uh, PayPal business account setup. So let's go to homepage and see what we can do from there. Now, as you can see, the PayPal business account, there you go. You can have your activity, uh, you can have your transactions list, pay and get paid. You can have, you can create and manage invoices. You can create and manage estimates. You can send payments, payouts, request money, and etc. You can choose marketing for growth, and you can have a set of business tools that you can explore later on. Now, I think the most uh, useful th uh, thing from a PayPal business account is the is these like. PayPal checkout invoicing and PayPal.me. Now PayPal.me is this uh, link. It's, it's similar to Stripe Connect, I think, which uh, where you can create a link for your payment. So let's say uh, the use case here is, for example, you have a pop-up store in a bazaar and you want a payment uh, uh, like you want to set up a payment that is easy for the customers to do, right? Maybe they don't, they don't have cash or maybe like, you know, uh, transferring f to your bank account number is just, well, it adds a few minutes off process, right? So if you want to make it as smooth as possible, you can just send a link to them by maybe uh, creating a QR code to the link that you are going to make in your PayPal and they can scan the code and the uh, payment uh, page, uh, your PayPal.me over here can be uh, accessed by them from their phone and they can make their payment. So let's get started. Now, now as you can see, uh, there you go. You can you have to create a PayPal.me prof profile. I'm not going to do that right now, but I just gave you an illustration of the use case of PayPal.me. Now, another thing that you can do is you can create invoices, as you can see, uh, as I've told you earlier, and you can also uh, create PayPal checkout. So, uh, PayPal checkout is like a page that you can embed, I guess, to your uh, maybe your Shopify store or maybe like if you have a your own hosting uh, website you can create a PayPal uh, checkout website that you can integrate to your website. Uh, there you go. Okay, so that's, I think that's all from me. Uh, I hope you have a good luck. Thank you.